Hey, what's up, guys? This is I Sith Kills, otherwise known as Nick. And today we're going to be talking about a Netflix movie called The Revenger. And I got to say, this one really took me by surprise. And by the way, this is going to be, uh, let's just say spoiler talk, because I'm probably going to talk about a few scenes. So if you haven't seen it yet, you probably want to click off. Uh, this is also going to be a non-edited video, so I'm going to be probably saying some ums and hums, and so I apologize for that. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy it. This movie uh, I just recently saw, actually probably about three weeks ago, I think. And uh, I got to say, uh, and I just started doing movie reviews, so I, I would have done it right when I saw it. But anyways, it, it was a really entertaining movie. I mean, if you like the 90s action, you know, adrenaline type movies, and or if you even like the, you know, 70s, 80s martial arts movies, uh, you're going to like this movie. This movie not only had a really interesting story, when it has uh, when it comes to the main character um which i had brought up his information i think yeah his name was bruce Kahn. he plays a character that's a, a cop and he gets stuck into this like island where they drop off prisoners who are murderers you know and killers and rapists and all that stuff and uh he kicks ass, I mean, to say the least, throughout the whole movie. And the choreography, as far as the martial arts, was excellent. Uh, I haven't seen this type of choreography in a while. Uh, it really looked natural, it looked real, it didn't look fake. Uh, Any time they had an action scene. And uh, anyways, he plays a, a prisoner that gets uh, um, uh, you know, transported to the island on purpose because he's trying to find... Uh, um, the person that killed his family sorry like i said three weeks ago and i love the whole story arc that the character had uh, it was very compelling uh, very motivating as to why he was there uh, obviously through his journey he meets up with <clears throat> a little girl and then also her mom and, and there's another character and it says his name is kim kwan it was kind of like the comedic character also had a lot of heart uh but it wasn't like i mean he had he acted somewhat stupid sometimes but it wasn't like like stupid like thor loved and thunder stupid it, it matched with the story and it matched with his character and, and you know the little girl did a fantastic job too i think it says her name was soon yun siu uh she did a fantastic job um kind of flushed out the heart of uh, bruce's Khan's character and uh yeah i enjoyed it thoroughly um you know the you know the whole end scene too when he finds the you know the person who killed his family which happens to be controlling the island uh, i love that final scene uh that you know whole fight scene was excellent um very well choreographed uh, everyone in you know um, as far as acting did well the martial arts was good the story was good uh, the ending was good so I don't know, I really don't have any complaints about this movie, to be honest. And uh, it's been a while for me uh, uh, to have seen a martial arts movie that not only had a good story, but was very well, well choreographed. Um, it didn't feel, like I said, fake at all. Because nowadays, you know, with these Marvel movies or even, you know, some martial arts movies, you know, like Matrix, for instance, you know, where... <laughs> Keanu Reeves just uses his hand and barely even does any martial arts like it just felt fake in those movies and it was really refreshing to see in this movie I never knew about like I just stumbled on it on Netflix I'd never heard about it never seen any advertisement about it it was just one of those movies that I just kind of stumbled on and I thank god I did because it was definitely uh, worth the watch um, I'm actually planning to rewatch it again because it was really that good so if you haven't seen it yet I definitely suggest it. Uh, it definitely was a, a great uh, martial arts movie uh, with a good story. So uh, if you're definitely into that, you're going to love it and you're going to enjoy it, especially if you're into like the uh, 80s, even, you know, early 90s martial arts movies, even, you know, 70s with the Bruce Lee movies. Like you'll, you'll enjoy this movie. Uh, very much but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content uh we also do video games on this channel uh, which i'm planning to hopefully start again soon uh, we do do uh, zombies uh, mainly black ops 3 and infinite warfare zombies so do that on twitch 
But anyways, hopefully you guys, I still don't see you on Twitch. Hopefully I see you guys back here and I appreciate you clicking on this video. I'll catch you guys later.